hello guys so this is continuations of selenium interview questions and answers and we'll see some more important questions and answers right so let's say if somebody will ask you what are the expected conditions that can be used in the explicit way so there are a lot of expected conditions i have not written everything here but at least you can remember the this uh, expected conditions so that you can tell the same thing in the interview expected conditions dot visibility of web element expected conditions dot element to be clickable element to be selected expected conditions dot text to be present in element value expected conditions dot frame to be available and switch to expected conditions dot invisibility of all elements expected expected conditions dot frame to be available and switch to i think i repeated again expected conditions dot visibility of i think this is all also repeated so there are a lot of expected conditions okay but if you remember four or five you can tell in the interview what is the fluent weight in selenium so fluent weight is the type of weight in which we can also specify the polling interval time like what happens in case of explicit weight i think every milliseconds it will try to look for the object but in case of fluent weight we can say that okay you once you are looking for the object if the object is not found wait for 5 seconds and then look for the object okay so this is the actually syntax so make the object of fluent weight and you give the maximum type 20 seconds and you poll after every 5 seconds and whenever while polling when exception comes you ignore it so we are writing that ignoring no such element exceptions dot class and then you make wait dot until and then apply and then you say return this so this is like you know we are giving that the polling time right now what is the difference uh, different keyword operations that can be performed in selenium so uh, the different keyword operations we can do send keys we can send the data we can do press key uh, used to like control functions etc we can do through that and release key so like used in the congestions with key press event to simulate releasing a key from the keyword event so when you say release key it will release the particular key which was active so you can remember this send, send keys press key and release key what is the difference mouse actions that can be performed you can do click double click context click mouse down mouse up mouse move and mouse move so again these are all you know some of the methods are overloaded methods so based on the argument this data will change uh, write a code to double click in selenium so how do you do that you need to make the object of action class so once you make the object of action class you can uh, write a web element the element for which you want to do a double click and then you can do actions dot double click supply the element and dot perform so by this way you can do that that double click on the element write a code to do a right click so again right click you make the object of action class write a web element and you do action dot context click element dot perform so so this when you say context click it will click on the context of the element and when you say dot perform it will do a right click so how to mouse over in uh, selenium so again you need to make the object of action class you locate the element and you do actions dot move to element and supply the element and do dot perform how to fetch the current page url so you can just do that uh, driver dot get current url so when you say driver dot get current url basically it will fetch the current url how can we fetch title of page in selenium we can fetch the title by using driver dot get title and through that we can fetch the element into the title okay how can we fetch the page source in selenium so you can do that driver dot get page source and we can fetch the source of the page in selenium so we can do that driver dot get page source how to verify tooltip so tooltip first you need to locate the element okay once you locate the element uh, once you write the web element for that you can do that get attribute and you can look for the title so uh, when you look for the title you will get the title which the title will be the tooltip text how to locate a link using text in selenium so there are two ways one is by link text so when you say link text uh, you can specify the link of the text and you can locate and one by partial link text where you can give the parts the half of the link text and you can 
locate the element in selenium what are the desired capability in selenium so desired capability are the set of key value pairs that are used for storing or configurations browser specific properties like browser specific version platform browser instance these everything you can do through desired capability as well as uh, you can uh, add some desired capabilities like javascript in uh, enable uh, you want to enable javascript then uh, you can do that argument test type these are all you can achieve through desired capability how can we find all the links on the web page so let's say you know that every link has a anchor tag a right so when you say driver dot find elements by dot tag name a it will give you all the links present on the web page what are the commonly encountered exceptions in selenium very important questions these are the most commonly encountered exceptions in the selenium the first one no such element exceptions when no elements could be located from the locator provider you will get no such element exceptions element not visible exceptions this comes when element is present in the dom but it is not visible no alert present exceptions when you try to switch an alert but the targeted alert is not present no such frame exceptions when you try to switch to a frame but targeted frame is not present no such window exceptions when you try to switch a window but targeted window is not present unexpected alert present exceptions when an unexpected alert blocks normal interactions of the driver timeout exceptions when command execution gets timeout invalid element state exceptions when the state of element is not appropriate for the desired actions no such attribute exceptions when you are trying to fetch an attribute value by the attribute which is not correct web driver exceptions when there is some issue with the driver instance preventing its getting launched so these are the exceptions you can remember no such element element not visible no alert no such frame no such window unexpected alert timeout invalid element state exceptions no such attribute exceptions web driver exceptions right how can you capture the screenshot to capture the screenshot first you need to cast your driver with the take a screenshot class and then you have to call the method get a screenshot as and you do, you have to supply the output type is equal to file and then you copy file utils dot copy you give the source this source file and you give the destinations locations in your system so where you want to copy which drive you want to copy and you have to make the file object so let's say i want to copy in d drive with the name called take a screenshot dot jpg so i can give this how to handle drop down in drop down in the selenium these are the method you can handle drop down so first you write the object of select class first you make the object of select class which will require wave uh, wave element as an argument and then there are three methods select by visual text select by index and select by value three things by visual text by index and by value how to check which options is uh, in the drop down is uh, selected so what you can do you can make the object of select class which will take web driver as an argument so driver dot find element by dot id and then you do driver dot select by visual text india assume that right so when you do that this uh, what happens is uh, to check that whether this is selected or not when you call driver dot find element by dot id is selected so when you call the method is selected it will give you true and you will not get false here actually for to get a false you have to write a uh, logic you will get exceptions if it is not selected i think so i am not 100% sure let me check that i think you will get exceptions when it is not selected but when it is selected you will get a true how can we check if the element is getting displayed on the web page so again by this so you can find the element and you can call the method is displayed so this guy will make sure that element is displayed again here you will get a true if it is not displayed you will get a exception how can we check if element is enabled for interactions of wave element so again you can look for driver dot find element by dot by locator any one locator dot is enabled so when you call is enabled this will tell you whether the element is enabled for interactions or not so with this i will close the video 
in next video i will cover some more important interview questions and answers thank you guys